Hi everyone, Macy here, founder of The Love Advantage and your love coach and unicorn wrangler, helping you find the kind of love that you never thought could exist. And today, I wanna share with you the wisdom of loneliness, because I know that it can feel really painful thinking about maybe love isn't in the cards, maybe um, I'll never find anyone or everyone has someone and I don't. Those kinds of thoughts and stories that, you know, can be really difficult when we're single and we really want a relationship. So I want to share with you how you can be with loneliness and what it actually wants you to know because there's really powerful wisdom in this that you need to pay attention to because there's um when we when we can access that wisdom then we can kind of move these difficult emotions and take care of ourselves in the way that our bodies are actually inviting us to take care of ourselves so the first piece around loneliness is that it really is a call for love. It's a call for attention. It's like your soul is saying, hey, listen to me, pay attention to me. I have something I really need. And what it generally asks is that we either change, take action in something, or shift our energy around something. So um, it's asking, well, what is it that I really need? So if you're feeling really lonely, I know sometimes that's just such a low energy and it's hard to motivate, but that is the time to, you know, come back to yourself. It's almost like your soul is lonely. There's part of you that is not paying attention to your soul. And if you can imagine just your awareness meeting your soul, actually in some level is already healing some of the feelings of loneliness because there's that attention given. So the question is, what do I need in this moment? And what I've discovered is that loneliness um, first of all, it's not fixed. You're not, it doesn't mean you're stuck. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. You know, it's all about how our emotions are here to guide us and to direct us. And actually, if we're listening, it's really directing us in to the right direction. It's directing us towards our destiny. So the first question would be, okay, what do I need? Do you need connection? That could be one of the things. Most of you are probably saying, but Macy, obviously I'm here because I want a special person. So that's what I want. And I'm saying that, um, yes. And, you know, ultimately that really is about connection. There's not one specific person that's going to heal your loneliness. And it's an experience that is created within you and really is asking for that attention. So if you need connection, are you willing to reach out to a friend, call um, a family member, or just take care of that? Because sometimes that is exactly what we need. But the other aspect of it that I think is pretty interesting is sometimes it's actually about like being alone. Is that something that we're judging and making it into a really painful experience when actually we may want to be alone? So checking in with yourself when you're feeling lonely, is it that I actually just need this time alone, but I'm judging myself about it. In the, under the umbrella of being single, I think this happens where it's just more magnified, where we think, 
okay, if I'm alone on a Friday night or on the weekend, then there must be something wrong with me. And then we make up the story that says, nobody wants me, I should be doing something else. And yet we may actually need that alone time. So checking in with yourself and seeing if that's true for you. And then the third really kind of simple piece around this is if you're, well, actually there's two more pieces. If you're feeling like you struggle with loneliness on a regular basis and it feels consuming to you, perhaps part of healing this is being the miracle for someone else who is feeling lonely in the world. And there's groups of people that I can think of that struggle with this. Senior citizens who may not have family coming to visit them, maybe, you know, foster kids or kids who are struggling in some way that might need some support to not feel alone. And the homeless people, I mean, you could go feed, serve food and be a part of that. Like just finding ways to funnel that into something really productive where you're actually solving that problem in the world. And I find that to be so powerful because it gets us out of our head and then it creates a solution for someone else and really frees you from the loneliness in that moment. And then the other piece is if you're lonely and you really, really want to create meaningful love in your life, what are you doing right now to support that vision for yourself? Are you making it important? Are you, you know, stuck in a story that says there's no one out there for me and then it's just perpetuating the loneliness? How can you honor your desire to have that or to create that meaningful relationship in your life. And if this um, is a challenge, then I really urge you to, to do something about it. And for me, one of the things that I notice is that when I struggled so much with loneliness, that all of these things above were true for me that one, I was often neglecting myself and, and allowing the stories to take over and not really listening to what I really needed. And once I could do that, I, I realized what I really wanted was to be in a relationship with someone and to create that and make room for that in my life, whereas I was often prioritizing work and all the community things and yoga and like all of this stuff and not actually bringing my full heart and focus to dating even though I thought I was and I had some stuff to work on like I had a lot of inner challenges that needed attention in the way that I was in relationships and so I invite you to consider, you know, what is it that I really want? If you really want a meaningful relationship, one thing that I know is that you can cultivate and create the conditions within yourself to receive that kind of relationship like you may never have had before, which is what I call unicorn love. And I have my love laser beam ring here right now, which is kind of losing its steam, but you can kind of see how it's working. Um, so today I am inviting more women to join me in my big happy love program in the new year. And that is working, um, well, playing into love for six months or 12 months and allowing yourself to not only have that support so that you can really step into your amazing self in relationship and in your life in a way that 
honors everything that you are, your, your quirkiness, your creativeness, your, your talents, but also the parts that are kind of hard. Because ultimately, the love advantage and big happy love is all about stepping into the kind of relationship where you're completely adored for who you are and that this is not about becoming something that, you know, it's just kind of this idea of what men want. This is about being more of you so that your amazing, unique person can find you. And when you are in an environment where you're fully seen and supported in your highest self, your beauty, your inner and outer beauty, then you can make progress. And what would it be like to have that hand holding kind of support that guides you through and helps you heal the emotional blocks, the heartache, the old wounds that you may be aware of or may not be aware of that are keeping you in the same patterns of relationships that go over and over again or maybe even keeping you from dating at all. Because what I know is that the women that come through Love Advantage and Big Happy Love are stepping into relationships where they say, you know, I'm pinching myself. I can't believe that this is real and I'm so excited. It's really like receiving a miracle. And not only that, this is about being able to be in your whole life in a new way where you feel worthy, where you feel confident, where you feel like free from like the, the kinds of stories that you may be dragging along for a long time. So I invite you, I'm gonna put the application in the link above so that you can link to that so that you can join me and other amazing spiritually conscious, creative, loving women on this path to meaningful love so that that can be your reality in the next year. So thinking about what would it be like to just really have that in your life? Like what would, would having that special person who's supportive and trusting and who totally gets you for you walking by your side? For me, this has been the most important thing that I've created in my life is that sacred kind of relationship. And you can have that too. And so I can't wait to meet you, to talk to you, and to really see and map out like what this would be like for you to have this kind of support and to have you know, curriculum and coaching and healing sessions and, and like fun little experiments to work on in your life where you can manifest not only a relationship, but a happier, healthier you. And possibilities from there are endless and frankly priceless. So Looking forward to talking to you. Check out the link and we'll see you real soon. Bye.